Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka, hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So in this following tutorial, I'm going to show you on how you can set up a camera follow effect inside of Vignon. So as you can see, though, uh, if I go ahead and quickly load up an environment just to demonstrate, let's say, for instance, we want to load up, let's say, a concert uh, theme here, right? So as you can see, basically, uh, if I move around, as you can see, the camera basically follows my character, basically. So you may be wondering, how do you do that? So allow me to show you how. And I'll also uh, change this world so that way it's not hurting to the eyes a bit. There you go. So here's a little, uh, you know, this is, by the way, these are the default worlds. You just have to go into the Vignon uh, world folder. They, there are some default worlds in there, by the way. You can just load world there. But basically, though, um, we're going to go into the node graph here, right? And then basically what we're going to do is we're going to add a new graph here. So make sure you do that. And then you're going to click on, um, so what you're going to then do after you have that, basically, you're going to then basically find the, um, so you're going to type in here cam on the search bar here, and you're going to click on camera look at. This is basically the node that creates this effect basically, and you can have this up to be a hotkey. Um, if by any chance you're a Stream Deck user like me, I would use the WebSocket, but otherwise we're just going to use hotkey um, just so that way, you know, it's easier for beginners. So once you have a hotkey here, you're going to right click, click on duplicate. And then you're also going to duplicate the camera look at because what we're going to do is we're going to have the ability to enable it and then disable it. So make sure that this one is set to be disabled. Make sure this moves this um, pretty much just have it all set to zero, but it won't be active basically. And make sure that these are connected. Click and drag. Set up your hotkeys to be whatever you want. And then you can set the smoothness. Let's say you could have this to be, uh, let's say 0.8 for the smoothness. And then distance, you can have it be, I don't know, let's say 2 basically. So yeah, um, so number 2. And then uh, you can press on, you know, number 1. And you can basically uh, change it to be different. So I will probably have mine be at 5. There you go. Um, so that way you can change the distance and you can change the smoothness as well, depending on what your preference is, basically. Um, and then you can set it to be, you know, you can press the number two so that way the camera follow can stop, basically. So yeah, you can have camera follow and then you can have it off. A, Ain't that cool? But that's pretty much very simple and that's pretty much how you can set up the camera look at feature or camera follow, whichever you call it basically. Uh, but it's pretty simple and you can even have it, you can do a lot more things such as like if you have a world uh, be turned on. So let's say for instance we have um, world, let's say for instance we're going to load world application start. Just, just giving you an example, if I have this connect these together I load a world or something like that and then world so basically if the world is loaded then it will basically have it where this will be enabled basically so you can have something like this just an example so I can I'll do this real quick actually so Vignon I'm gonna go into the world settings so item was it items let me see uh worlds here and then I'm going to choose concert stage. So I'm going to right click, send signal. It's going to have this. And as you can see, it immediately has it where the look at is enabled basically. And of course, like I said, you can have it where it can toggle off basically. So yeah, um, but that's pretty much just in a nutshell. Basically, I just wanted to show like a different example basically. So yeah, I hope that this tutorial helps you out and I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Thank you so much to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to get access to extra perks and further support me and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake membership. Otherwise though, just you guys watching is just enough support for me and I appreciate every ounce of it. So, either way though, I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!